There we go. Cool. It's working now, isn't it? Yay. Yes, I accidentally opened an image tab. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. All right. I'm Lydic. I'm Tom. I'm Zane. And welcome to What Are We Reading? Today we're doing the infamously bad Legend of Zelda fan fiction, My Inner Life. Yes, Written we're by... trampling on something that I know and love. Hooray. <laughs> Oh, it's always a good day when that happens. You're a sadistic motherfucker, you know that? You know it, babe. Uh, I forget that uh, turns you on. <laughs> I mean, you can't tell right now, but I'm not wearing pants in this call. Great to know. <laughs> Pick so it didn't happen. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, but, as always, I'm going to leave the link for this shit in the description which do not seek out the author and send this person hey please don't yeah seriously that didn't oh, okay didn't you say like she even said yeah this was horrible i shouldn't have written this or something pretty much, yeah pretty much. okay yeah so she's learned from her mistakes and i think she's a writer now question mark i don't know for sure i don't think she's a writer now yeah. no i mean she's written in the past so that could make her a writer former writer yeah, former writer. Let's go with that. Let's just start this. <sighs> I'll start right. us off. All right. Author's note. Hello. Thanks for choosing to read my story. As you might know, I have become a major Zelda fan in the last year. Ever since I have played Ocarina of Time, I have grown a fond interest in Link. Not Great at all. Uh, I mean, we all know he's the perfect man. After all, he doesn't talk. <laughs> uh, I saw it coming. That's why I laughed. I started to notice that after I got really into it, I mean really into it, I found that I have a special gift. A gift to lucid dream. I can do that. You're not special. Yeah. I started having dreams about Hyrule and about, like, sensual dreams. <laughs> oh, In a lucid dream, yay. you can control your dreams. The dreams become very real. Kind of like a second life, but not the video game second life. Just a second life. <laughs> and almost Half -life every night... confirmed. <laughs> no, 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 not Half-Life, Second Life. I know, I'm just using a dead <laughs> meme. Nothing like a game that's banned on Twitch. <laughs> really? Yeah, Second Life is banned on Twitch because you can do some fucked shit in that. Hmm, okay, continue. And almost every night I would have another, starting from where the last left off. I don't know why that's a separate sentence, it just is. Even to this day, I still have them. I find that they help me get through life. I know this may sound queer, but for me, the dreams would help me out. I have shared this story with many other people, and so far, all has liked it. Now as you read this, it is told from my perspective, or first-person view. We know what that is. Who's next? Me. <laughs> <sighs> you will find that it is very detailed, since I remember it all very clearly to this day. Uh. The story takes place after o Ocarina of Time. Nothing after that ever happens. No Majora's Mask, no Link to the Past. Okay, that was a good one, though. Or even Oracle of Ages, Ages and Seasons. Oh, that's Link to the Past? Whoops. Yep. For some reason, yep. I kept thinking that was Legend of the Twilight Princess. Th that's not the name of it. It's just Twilight Princess. Well, I never said I wasn't an idiot. No, no, we all knew. And there is no love relation between Link and Zelda, Link and Ruto, Link and Milan, or Link and Saria. Okay, so how many middle fingers is that? One, two, three, four. Got ya. <laughs> yeah. Because of my feelings about Link, the person that he gets involved with in this story is myself or actually is my persona. Unlike, oh, no. perso unlike the one persona game, however, this does not involve shooting yourself in the head. That's unfortunate. A persona is for those of you who need to know a representation a manifestation of, of your spirit. <laughs> yeah, or in dictionary terms is persona, noun, in biology, same as person. So for all you future readers, this story is based on Jenna, a char that is a Sorry. representation of my personality. I would have less problem with this if she wrote out the word character, but no, she wrote char. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kara, it'd be a genocidal maniac. Yeah. I mean, this already sounds like somebody's power fantasy, or just their fantasy in general. Just well, fantasy in general, like, ugh. 
I mean, they get the bone link. That's pretty, pretty That's top tier fantasies right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is that is like top ten on my like fuck it list. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I didn't know you had one of those. <laughs> you don't? No, I'm su- I'm not surprised though. <laughs> But if you think this might be too queer, then you shouldn't read this. This is not the type of story for those of you who dislike or cannot handle such material as the context of this story. But if you seriously believe you can handle the context of the story, then read on. If you're squeamish about sex, then you should not nope. read this. I'm not. The story is a real lemon. <laughs> oh, yeah. a lot of that heavily <laughs> detailed. I'm going to oh, ignore no. the misuse of your it needs an apostrophe R E. But uh, between Link and I that is. Especially oh during the bonding ceremony. <laughs> oh boy. There's some blood content and strong adult language, so if that's too much, then you should turn back now. I just hope I uh, I hope there's some redeeming value to this story. I have my doubts, but <laughs> at least we enjoyed doing the voices for Maya Mortal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now, I have not finished it as of yet. I have to catch up since the last dream I had was just after Link and I had the blessing ceremony for our twins, our third and fourth kids. I'm like, no. Fuck. (laughs) If you think Link is that smart, you're very wrong. He does not get, he does not get like when people are coming on to him or he's just, he, yeah. (laughs) Honestly, I'm just, why would anyone want to have more than like two? Eh, I don't know. I, like, I'm in a family of three kids, and it's not too bad. Uh, like, even two seems like too much, in my opinion. To help you with the well, farm, of course. That's just what it is. You're a thing. <laughs> uh, yes, medieval, pseudo-medieval times. Got it. Right now, there's about 100, 150 pages worth. I'm expecting it to reach at least 300, 350, probably even more. I will try to update as often as possible. Not sure why there was a space in update. Seems a bit fucked. No one can see me, but my eye is twitching. (laughs) I hope that some of you like this, but uh, I do not mind sharing it. But please understand that this is very precious to me, (laughs) as well as Link. So this is canon? She said it was precious to Link, what? Yes, this is all canon. In her lucid dreams. Read it and weep. Despair. (sighs) Yeah, lucid dreams can be great or horrible. I mean, that's how I stumbled across the universe. Or the multiverse, not the universe. Lord. (sighs) I think that's bad. Try doing that in real life. Fuck. Nope, nope. I'll stick to my astral projection. Thank you very much. (laughs) Like I said, if the context of this story sounds too queer for you, believe me, it takes a lot for it to be too queer for me. Hmm. Turn back now. (laughs) But to all who wish to continue, happy reading. Thanks. Link's Queen. Oh, God. Are you sure this story wasn't written earlier than the 90s? Because I don't think anyone's ever said queer since, like... Well, they're using, that. they're using queer as in strange, like the British term for weird. Yeah, yeah yes, I, I think oh. he realizes that. <laughs> so this is a British thing? I actually didn't know that. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's why I was clarifying. Oh, boy, I get all the caps here. Yes, <laughs> I get all, caps. all the caps. Rated R for strong adult language, sex, violence, and blood content. I like I the last be, two things. I wouldn't be interested if that weren't the case. I mean, my favorite movies are banned in multiple countries. Good for you. <laughs> Again, as a final warning, this story <laughs> contains heavy sex, adult language. Uh, I gotta stop there. <laughs> D, not B, for adults. It It talks about my personal encounter with Link. This story (laughs) is based on dreams. Dreams about my life with him. If you find the content of this story to be offensive, queer, or plain out off the wall, then do not read it. I just imagine she's like sitting here and it's like her voice mixed with like a super deep demonic voice speaking in tandem and sounding like booming like the voice of a titan or something. You are a low child. (laughs) You are strong. But I am beyond strength. Where is that from? I I, that's from something. I just don't, I don't remember. remember. <laughs> okay. I will not accept any more flames, ramblings, cussing, or excessive lashing out about the chair 
char jenna or reviews you, about the content of this story excessive lashing out vicious attacks against you, my you personality. skipped a line oh did i yes oh i have gotten way too many flames about the content of this story when i have placed several warnings i will not accept any more flames ramblings cussings or excessive lashing out about the Ch char jenna or reviews about the content of this story excessive lashing out vicious attacks against my personality or non-mature constructive criticism well that's going to be a problem well Oof. i don't think any of us here are mature yeah, I'm the most mature out of all of us. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's, <laughs> That's not saying much, lie. though. True. <laughs> Any reviews submitted that do not follow the above kid lines will be <laughs> deleted immediately. These warnings are not there to look pretty. The authors place warnings for a reason. It is to tell you what the content of the story is so that if the reader finds the content of the story offensive, they will not read on it. <clears throat> All right, yes, I'm, because I'm, I'm gonna... that's why I don't read fan fictions that involve male pregnancy, because I find that offensive. Not that I just don't have that kink. I, I just... That's a thing. Uh, I know it's a thing. I just wish it wasn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ugh, my throat's hurting already. <laughs> Good. Um, uh, where was I? Uh, uh, many authors have been... Okay, that's what I thought. Many authors have been complaining about unwanted, excessive, violent, and just plain nasty reviews that have been submitted by readers about their stories causing fanfiction to grant authors the ability to delete unwanted reviews and block certain readers. Um, no. Let's see. <laughs> I will say this for myself and for all authors on fanfiction. No author twists your arm or holds you at gunpoint or forces you in any way, shape, or form to read their stories. <clears throat> Some readers, on the other hand. <laughs> all readers have the right not to read a certain story. It is your responsibility to read the warnings and decide for yourself if the... <laughs> The content of the story is offensive to you and to make the choice to read on or not. And it also is the reader's responsibility to take responsibility on how they handle them themselves when leaving a review for an author. Leaving a review that is violent in nature only makes you, the reader, look bad and is very immature. All of us here are supposed to be adults. <laughs> <laughs> on fanfiction.net? On fanfiction.net. Uh, really? Yeah, no. No, really? I... No. <laughs> really? Well then, let's conductive ourselves like adults <laughs> and not like little kids. <laughs> Join in the conductive. Become the conductive. Taste the conductive. Taste Be delicious. The conductor. <laughs> uh, I only expect the violent lashing out and vicious attacks to come from teenagers, not adults. You know, believe like, me, teenagers scare the living shit out of me. Because... <laughs> uh, we, well, I sleep with a gun to keep an eye on him, so. Just remember, what you got under your shirt will make him pay for the things that they did. Yeah. Well, I sleep with a gun anyway, but I was going with what you were putting down. <laughs> yeah, so was I. <laughs> Okay, where was I? Not adults. If you people really are adults that are conducting yourselves in the manners. <laughs> manners, like houses. I, yes. That's not how... Uh, okay. <laughs> I decried above. <laughs> you people really are scaring me. <laughs> you obviously haven't seen what I do in some of my lucid dreams. Oh boy. Also, can I just interject here? What? I don't think books in real life, ha real life have warnings in them, do they? Uh, no. I mean, sometimes you might find a triple X there or something. Yeah, but that's like implied. But for other stories and stuff, you just gotta commit to the book. Yeah, it's I mean, just like with any book, it. you just find it, you start reading it, and if you don't like it, people are gonna say something. It's not about trigger warnings. Yeah, I mean, none of the Fifty Shades books had content warnings, and believe me, they should have. <laughs> content warning: absolute garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read them. I don't want I to. I I never laughed harder than at those sex scenes. Oh no. <laughs> well, I mean, I've heard like people reading like, well, kind of doing what we're doing, but doing like recordings of the of some of those things, and it's like, wait, is this an actual thing? Yes. Why? The, uh, anyway, uh, it's a damn shame to know that there are adults out there who cannot conductive themselves <laughs> in the simplest manners. Their parents have taught them 
Oh, <laughs> shit, I had a comment on there. My bad. Also, leaving malicious reviews is also a sign of low self-esteem. You know, like leaving know how to just attack someone viciously. It's a sign of selfishness and no respect for oneself. <laughs> what? Well, okay. You know what's also a sign of low self-esteem? Leaving a two-page don't like, don't read uh, warning. Yeah. <laughs> I suggest to all readers who have, who are thinking about leaving a malicious review for me, please get a hobby and learn to control your anger because you're only hurting yourself, not me. Also, <laughs> leaving a nasty review only makes you look stupid, not me. Depends on how <laughs> funny the nasty review is. True. <clears throat> okay. I find it very ridiculous that I had to leave a warning this long. It, but it is because of the very immature readers that have submitted nasty, childish reviews. So why are we using Dr uh, Darko's voice for this? I don't know why I did that. I mean, it's an alt cap, so I'm only imagining, like, death metal growling. <laughs> I just thought of Death Clock. <laughs> awaken, awaken, awaken. <laughs> I love that. Rice. <laughs> Rice! <laughs> <laughs> Love that part in the animation. It was so good. Rice, rice. He just looked so angry. <laughs> he was in a bathroom and holding a bowl of rice. We're talking about Bat Metal, not the actual uh, yeah, um, awake video. music video, because that should have an epilepsy warning. It it hurts oh, me yes. watching it. Again, please <laughs> read the above context before reading on. I don't uh, want to read it again. No, neither do I. <laughs> Wait, th it's still going? Yes. Yep. So, to, furthermore, I have realized this story needs heavy grammar corrections and that the yes. plot needs some work. Yes. Also, under the advice advisement of a, my friend who had just recently compiled two literature classes. Completed. 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 Now you're making it wrong. Shit. <laughs> I stated the reasons why people have classified Jenna as a Mary Such character. I'm not going to dignify that with a char. I'm not going <laughs> to her as flat. Well, it ain't because of her chest. <laughs> she has come to the conclusion that most people do not know or understand Jenna's history. So she has advised me to create an origin story to explain about her history before she met Link. That way she will become more rounded and give people a reason to care about her. It was never my intention to create Jenna as a Mary Sue character or to make her conceited. Or is it conceited? Whatever. Because conceited. I'm not really like that. Jenna is a persona character, one that resembles my personality while this story is being told from her perspective. This story is not something Ugh. that I pulled out of my head like my drawings. It it's the very definition head. of pulled out of your head. <laughs> it came Everything from your species my... does is pulled out of your head. Oh, dear lord. So I understand that revising this story is going to be hard work and will take time. Since the story is being told in the exact or close to the exact order, it happens in the dreams. Changing how fast Link and Jenna marry isn't going to be easy. Even changing how fast they had sex and revising <laughs> the lemon parts also won't be so easy to do. I don't know. Have you ever sped up a porno? It sounds hilarious. Uh, like, just fast forward it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm currently okay. in the process of revising this story. Also, I've received a college grammar book from my friend, and I'll be investing in a beta reader. Yeah, just also eat the book. That'll make all the knowledge appear in your head, and you'll be good. You don't do that? No, I'm human. <laughs> I'm also considering taking your literature classes at JC to help boost my writing skills. <sighs> Get to the fun part already. <laughs> there is no fun part. There is only death. Because only uh, death is real. Uh, <laughs> but now I say this. If you, you will people... die one of these Sure I will. The reviewers really have the intentions to help me. Then them, them, please do it positively and like a mature adult. I'm telling you that if it, it is a proven fact that negative motivation never motivates someone to change. It never has, and it never will. I'm pretty sure your parents have taught you that people will only respond to positive motivation and not negative. She has a weird way of, like, sorting her sentences for some reason. It's like, bleh. I mean, it's grammatically correct. It's just a very weird prose style. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. All right. I am not closed-minded. I never have been. I have always been open to other people's thoughts and opinions. 
except when they don't agree with my writing. It's when it's <laughs> done in an appro inappropriate manner that I turn my nose at it and look away. People have to understand that when you're an adult, you need to conduct yourself like one and learn how to address other people like one. You cannot just act childish when, uh, when you come across something that you do not approve of. You're only making yourself look bad, and that could affect you later on in life. Acting childish and ranting and raving is something I'd expect from little kids who would do it be, uh, wait, I'd expect a little kid would do when he doesn't get his way. When, a, when an adult acts childish over stupid things, that's looked down upon, unless they're a vlogger. Then they get more of views. Or a politician. <laughs> then they become president. Yeah. <laughs> Every it's, president it's, ever. Especially the one that's made out of human spray tan. <laughs> and considered to be unhealthy. I have seen far too many reviews left for me where reviewers are just ranting and raving like little kids over this story because they do not like it. It is only making them look stupid and is very unhealthy. I fear that these people have some serious emotional problems if they get that upset over a story. People in control of their emotions and have also obtained some so sort of common sense never let little things get them all riled up. It is very sad when one that is supposed to be an adult cannot handle themselves like one. I was never angry at the reviewers not liking the story. That's how they handled themselves when leaving me the reviews. Getting riled up, ranting and raving, screaming and spitting nails all over the story is what has caused me to get upset. Not the fact that they didn't like it, and not the fact that right now I sound like a camp counselor. If I could spit nails, that would be an awesome superpower. <laughs> Like, like, like at the force of an... No, yeah, wait, that's well, what I have to do. Are we talking was, like, at the force of a nail like, Oh, yeah, nail gun. That would be... Terrible. Force of a nail gun. Just go, ah! Oh! <laughs> just nails come out. Just that. That'd be cool. Who's <laughs> for Who's for nails? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to try that next time I start lucid dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> just don't look into a mirror when you do it. <laughs> Eh, nah. <laughs> anyway, okay. your turn. Uh, where is it? As a side, also as a side yes. note, is that it? Okay. Also, as a side note, I never physically hurt anyone with this story. Psychologically, oh. however. <laughs> Psychologically and emotionally, however, is a different story. <laughs> I got one reviewer that said, period. Why is there a period there? That should be a comma. Oh, oh. oh God, please stop writing. You're hurting everyone. I, well... <laughs> Your needs to stop. I'm trying to ignore the grammar on that one because the grammar is actually decent in this one, but that's just standing out more. It just yeah. her phrasing. <clears throat> yeah. Now I want to know where I physically touched that person. Now where on the doll did I touch you? <laughs> Show me on the doll where the fan fiction touched you. Right here. here. Oh, in the heart. <laughs> I want to know how I'm twisting anyone's arm to arms to read this. Oh, you're not twisting the arms. Lydix doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I have never done anything of the, of the sort in any way, shape, or form, and I do not appreciate being accused of that. <laughs> if you're emotionally hurt over this, it's your fault, not mine. Okay. Um, no, it's kind of your fault for writing something that would emotionally hurt someone. <laughs> <sighs> well, whatever. Let's see, where was it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry if it did, but I have placed several warnings describing the content of this story. We know we've been reading it for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> it's been 20 minutes? And if, okay. you, and if you know what it contains and you do not like this type of material, then why are you reading it? I do not appreciate getting accused of other people's actions. It is your choice as the reader to read the content of this story, and it is not my fault. If it upsets you when you knew from the gecko <laughs> what from it can the pay, gecko. Gecko is a word, and gecko, gecko uh, right from the gecko. So please do not flame me about it. I also feel like a school teacher teaching a bunch of little kids. I those kids are so screwed. Yeah, and I find that this really w wasn't necessary and shouldn't have had to come to this. Yeah, stop writing the freaking author's note. <laughs> Please. But it is very hard when your reviewers have forgotten how to conduct themselves like adults. Okay, have you been on the internet? There are no adults on the internet. I don't know. I mean, late 90s, internet was new. 
Yeah, but like, is this lady 20 when she wrote this? Why is she saying she's an adult? I mean, she might be. Or she was like I was when I was a teenager, thinking I was an adult when I was 17. <laughs> she was pro- she's probably like early college, late high school. Okay, yeah. And she's writing fan fictions about Link? Damn. I mean, most people do that when they're a lot younger. Well, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, I then mean, again, I spend my to... time looking at 2D anime titties all day. I don't really have room to talk. <laughs> and oh, I could you're easily not make a joke about Tom's writing. You have you read my writing? No, oh, not that you know of. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, at least. I'm but just going. There. I'm just going to trust that the wards I put up are being effect are being effective. Anyway, right. man. If you honestly think that being malicious is a good thing and that you're not wrong in doing so, well, you're blinded by your own selfish pride. People with common <laughs> sense learn that how to take responsibility for themselves and are able to admit when they're wrong. I have found that many of the reviewers that left me malicious reviews honestly believe that it's appropriate behavior for an adult, when reality is that they are, are self-absorbed in themselves to admit they are wrong. Too self-absorbed in themselves. <sighs> Repetition. They're wrong. Not they are. They're. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. To admit they're wrong. Like if it's read in a certain way, that is grammatically correct, but it's just phrased weird. Uh, again, to admit that... they're wrong is in admitting they're wrongdoing. Sorry, I'll, I'll yeah. shut up. Uh, again, that results from selfish pride, wanting to be scared to admit in front of others that they just might be wrong. Also, how can any of you hold any right to call Jenna conceited when in reality you're conducting yourself by being conceited as well? <laughs> being conceited is, again, selfish pride and being self-absorbed. And yes, it is. It always will be a fact that most of the reviewers have been conceited and very con- contradictive. Please do not leave me a review that only contradicts what you are trying to preach. You should be, in reality, take your own advice. Sorry if I peeked the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Again, I find it ridiculous that this had to be as long as it is. It didn't have to. It did, but it did is, not. But it is due to the fact that people not conducting themselves appropriately. What? No, no, it's you reacting negatively to you, you, criticism. You, you forgot a word in there. But it is due to the fact that people not conducting themselves appropriately. There should be an R between people and not. Yes, I'm trying to ignore it. Right to my attention, also, and I'm starting to get an aneurysm. Also, if I do receive any more malicious reviews with screaming, spitting nails, or ranting and raving over this story because you do not like it, then you are the, then you are too self-absorbed to admit <sighs> that acting like this is wrong. Well, then you have my have proven my point. All of this is very self-explanatory. Now, now campers, please line up. <laughs> now, please do not read on if you do not plan on leaving me you appropriately but wait there's more wait is there more on the next yes oh my god this oh, is wait, intro. really this is an yes. intro it's just like an it's like a prologue intro it's not another like author's note type thing oh it kind oh. of is an author's note but it's not oh. the same kind of author's note okay oh thank the lord we're actually reading this now uh. yes Yay. my turn right yes Dreams come in many forms, some good, some bad, some very realistic, even ones that feel very, feels even ones that feels very real. <laughs> the dream may come to us from happy events, or even stem from bad events in our lives. Some come to us in a pleasure dream, and some <laughs> as nightmares. Uh, some... Dichotomy, wet dream or nightmare? <laughs> and the ever-elusive wet nightmare. <laughs> this is very scary, but it's turning me on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some yeah. become vague memories after time. Ugh, I don't like the sex <laughs> design, let's be real. While well, some stay very rich in our minds, this is a story about a dream that I had. A dream that became more dreams. A dream that would end one night, then resumes the next. It became like a second life on second life. Ever <laughs> since I became a Zelda fan, I grew an interest in Link. I thought of like him a as, a, as the perfect man. After all, he I doesn't became talk. his stalker. <laughs> one that you could not find of this world. But I stalked him anyways in my dreams. I thought of him as a man that should have been. The more that he attracted my attention, the more I became more attracted to him. Wait, why? Oh god, this is like a stalker. Hold on. <laughs> I felt like there was a connection between him and me. Then he became Whoa. a part of me. 
And after that, I fell deeply in love with him. Well, there definitely is going to be connection, if you catch my meaning. Hey. Uh, I know this may sound queer to you, but love is a mysterious thing and should not be taken lightly. Love <laughs> is a very strong emotion, an emotion that should be treasured. Love comes from the heart, and when it takes hold, it's got you. I don't quite understand it myself, but I do know that when I first laid my eyes upon Link, I fell in love with him. My heart just told me it was right, told me he was the one, the one I had been searching for. Ever since then, I have felt that it is my, that it was destiny that has brought me to him. I'm pretty sure that it was actually a purchase at a store. <laughs> Even in uh, my mind, no. it feels the same. I don't consider myself any different from anyone else. After all, I have a husbando. <laughs> that's uh. all that's different. <laughs> Though I have love for someone that is not really there, he will always remain very real to me inside my heart and in my mind. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure all of us have a waifu or husbando of some sort. Yeah, I know. That's not what I'm criticizing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's she see. Oh. sounds so obsessed, like a stalker. Yeah, I, 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 it, it reminds me a lot of the same people who jack it to lolly, uh, lolly porn. <laughs> she is just so pure, so ever present in my mind. <laughs> That's why I must corrupt her. <laughs> oh no. Even to this day, I love him. He has kept me very happy. He has made me happy when I was sad. He has made me feel stronger about myself. He's even taken care of me in ways that no one else can with his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What page are we on? Even though I have feelings for him, I'm not any different from the rest of you. I will always hold him close to me, in my heart. He is still on my mind, and I still have dreams. Oh, those dreams. The connection still remains strong, and the dreams very real. Oh, no. This sounds like a descent into madness. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> I lived an entire life with Link in Hyrule, all stemming from a series of dreams. Dreams that I want to have. Dreams that I make happen. Dreams that are black. From the first day I met him, to the birth of our first child, to even the days when Link and I, Link and I prepared our family in the event that Ganon should return. Ganon you know, with if you three killed him and not If you killed him and didn't seal him away, you'd be fine. Three ends. Ganon. No, there's two N's, what I'm looking at. Oh, G-A-N-N-O-N. -N -N. Yeah. The way Ganon is actually spelled is only with a total of two N's. Oh, really? Ganon, not <laughs> Ganon. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> this book is based on my inner life. Oh, so that's why it's called that. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> a second life lived in a faraway <laughs> land in another timeline in another dimension. <laughs> oh, trust me, some of those are wonderful, others not so much. A tale of love, passion, despair, and hope. I enjoyed my inner life. I look <laughs> forward to going to sleep to it every night. And I look forward to ones that will come because love will never die. Okay, are you sure this isn't a Yandere like story? Like, seriously. Or a stalker. Oh, you mean like that one Cthulhu fan fiction we're going to have to read at some point? Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to have to, aren't we? Yes. Hey. I forgot that there's footnotes in this story. There are. The Yes. Uh, footnote. Yeah, it, I, I don't think it has the like thing on this page, but uh, okay. So I guess we won't draw attention to the footnotes. I can't see any of the footnotes, so yeah, it's it's just on the next chapter, the one right there mm -hmm. in parentheses was supposed to lead to a footnote explaining that the spring festival is a festival held in spring. Oh boy, are you? No. No, I'm not. Okay, well, I, well, considering at least she's consistent, unlike my immortal, but um, she, um, she's like treating the audience like they're idiots. So, oh, yes, she's been doing that since the beginning. Anyway, Zane, your turn. I will never forget the day that I met Link. It was a warm <laughs> spring day. 
I was on my usual trip back to Hyrule with my wagon of goods to sell in Hyrule Market at the annual spring festival. She hasn't even met him, but your voice sticker like she really wants to fuck him. <laughs> I've been a traveling merchant since I was 14. This is my sixth year returning to Hyrule. The last two years, I was not able to return when Princess Zelda sent word of an evil pre presence in Hyrule. Not that I listened. I was too busy staring at Link's bulge. Anyways, <laughs> she hasn't even all yet. context was lost. I, I mean, who doesn't context. know about Link? For almost two years, I tried to contact Princess Zelda. Desperately, I kept trying to find out if she was okay. I was never too long without contact with my good friend. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> You're a fucking merchant. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. Then I was considered going to invest. Then I was considering going to investigate. When one day word came that in that came in that piece had been restored to Hyrule <laughs> due, due to the legendary hero of yeah. hero of God, God damn in quotation marks the hero, hero, the so of, time. hero of time oh, hero no, of time <laughs> what would what would the Hyrule version of Lex Luthor look like Oh God Bald. <laughs> Well, possibly yes, Ganon. That's a must. Possibly Ganon. <laughs> so Ganon's bald, Ganon. not bald though. Gan bald Ganon. Nah. nah, that doesn't work. It needs to be someone Ganon else. Ganon bald, like the carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> After some time catching up with my old friend. <laughs> no, no, no. After some catching up time. Oh, after some catching up time with my old friend, <laughs> I came to find out what was really ha what really happened. Seems there was a Gerudo named Ganondorf, an evil man from Gerudo Village. Valley. Valley. Really? Gerduo Valley. <laughs> oh, Gerduo. Gerduo. Whoops. Now we're getting to grammar mistakes. Ugh. The, uh, desired the legendary Triforce, though the Triforce was only told in fairy tales to the children where I come from. What? <laughs> you know, despite the fact that that's considered a royal secret. Yeah. I was amazed to find hey, out it really existed. She told you're friends me. with a princess. She Somehow. would tell you if it was real or not, if you were friends. <laughs> Putting this in the context, Link had to break into the castle to get audience with Princess Zelda. <laughs> you know, the reincarnating yeah. prophesized hero. Yeah. Had yeah, to no. break in to gain an audience. Yeah, and Princess Zelda is like really like young and naive anyway, so just... Sheltered, that's the word I'm looking for. She told me how she played with things she knew nothing about. You know, despite, you know, Triforce of Wisdom. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. And about how Ganondorf tricked the soon-to-be Hero of Time into <laughs> unlocking the door to the Sacred Realm. E I even noticed that Zelda was a little older than I. Last I saw her, she was four years younger than me. It, uh, it was told to me that when Ganondorf went into the Temple of Time and into the Sacred Realm, ju time jumped ahead in Hyrule seven years, yet only two passed in my land, and in the rest of the world. Yeah, no, the, no it's like pa time passes normally, it's only Link who's experiencing the time skip thing. Link and went... Time traveled. Uh, yet... Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, uh, well, okay. he, he didn't actually technically everything. time travel if memory serves. Yeah, Wasn't Ganondorf it basically just like Ganondorf didn't is why he, we can't have nice things in Hyrule. Yeah. Didn't Link really just go into like a seven year coma pretty much? Pretty much. It wasn't even true time travel. Can't yeah. you go back in time though? Well, yes. Yeah, he can. went back in time at the end. Uh, actually the um the his almost, consciousness did. Not quite the end. Yeah. Yeah, his consciousness. So what you're went saying back is yeah. his yeah. So he put the sword in, went into a coma, halfway or like some part of his coma, he woke up again, pretty much. And he woke up and then seven had a coma. years later. Well, that's what I'm saying, but like in time, yeah. like what happened, he put the sword in or whatever happens, I've never played the game. His conscious went forward in time, so his body's just sitting there. No, yes. his, his conscious and body basically get like consumed by light or something. Yeah. And just... And then it's like it's like he disappears for seven years, and he comes back, and he's aged seven years. It's it's kind of it's kind of yeah, weird in all honesty. But the it's Zelda timeline is interesting because it's technically three parallel timelines. 
Yes. You have the timeline in which he stayed in the future after he defeated Ganon. Mm -hmm. You have the timeline in which his consciousness went back in time after he defeated Ganon. And then you have the timeline in which he Time dies he before loses. he defeats Ganon. Yeah, where he loses against Ganon, yeah. And that's when Ganon ends up taking over the world, and so all the ones in which Ganon's kind of in charge are in that timeline. Yeah. Which is why Breath of the Wild, which has Calamity Ganon, is shown to take place in that timeline. Yeah, it's awesome. Which there's also the whole thing that, like, you can tell, like, one certain timeline, all the links in that one have yellow stripes on their hats. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's the one where it's like the one where um he uh or he um like the timeline that after Ganon was defeated and continued on, but I don't remember. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, anyway, Zane. I mean yeah, not Zane. Uh Tom, your turn. All right. After the hero of time defeated the king of evil, the hero was granted to either return to the past or to remain in the present time. Since he chose to remain in the in the present, Zelda jumped ahead of me in age by four years. Wait, what? There, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it seems that everyone in Hyrule jumped in age from the rest of the world. But now that peace was restored, life resumed in Hyrule. As I made my way down the desert trail that led to Hyrule, I began to think about whom the legendary hero of time was. All quotations. Was so bad in this one. <laughs> the legendary hero of time. <laughs> this, yeah. Oh, God. All right, so I was very interested in meeting the man, right? That's where I am. Very interested yes. in meeting this man. I was very interested <laughs> in meeting this man. Princess <laughs> Nala never told me his name, but I was going to make it a point this time to finally meet Hyrule's hero. As I turned off the dirt trail, that uh, what? I'm sorry, uh, that line somehow tripped me up. Anyways, <laughs> I turned off the dirt trail and onto Hyrule Field. Hyrule Castle appeared in the distance. Dustin Very small land. The yeah. Wheels of my wagon as it creaked along. Then I came closer to the gates of Hyrule Castle. A familiar face appeared to greet me. I pulled back on the range to make <laughs> the horses come to a complete stop in front of the gate. And I realized that the person greeting me was my good friend, Princess Zelda. The fuck's she doing at the gate? Hey. <laughs> Just... I have been... Just what? Uh, just <laughs> everything about this is making me just shut down. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I, I'm yeah. starting to turn on to Otto. <laughs> I have been a good friend of the royal family <laughs> ever since my first arrival in Hyrule six years ago for Hyrule's annual spring festival. Ever since the first day I met the princess, I had been one of her closest friends. Considering no one had actually seen Princess Zelda when Link first came to Hyrule Town, I find it very unlikely that this character would be friends with Princess Zelda. <sighs> Deep breaths. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I was even considered part of the royal family. Mm -hmm. After I climbed down from my perch on the wagon, I ran over to Zelda and hugged her. Hello, Princess Zelda, my good friend. Yes, it is good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? <laughs> Looking at her, I could tell she was happy to see me. <laughs> so what voice uh, you give it, Zelda? I don't know. <laughs> can you do a, can you do an effeminate voice? <laughs> um I can try, it'll just probably sound like it probably won't work. <laughs> do it. Uh I, I'm gonna try a robotic voice for this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Oh, so good to see you again, my friend. Come, <laughs> come, father is waiting to see ye you. <laughs> Why did that sound like the not the accent itself, but for some reason like the syntax? Like it sounded vaguely Russian, and I don't know why. Ah, should I read her? Should I read it in a Russian accent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is so good to see you again, my friend. Come, come. Father is waiting to see you. Should oh, we go man. with that? I like the robot, but I like the... Eat I your like horse, the... you suka. <laughs> uh, leaving my wagon behind to be tended to by the stable <laughs> hands, I followed Zelda through the market. About 20 paces behind her and hiding behind a building. It's just how I roll. <laughs> through the marketplace, 
as I followed Zelda through the marketplace to the gates that led to the castle. As we approached the ga- castle gates, I saw some <laughs> of the same guards I have seen the past few years. Almost like they work here. I followed them home, too. <laughs> <laughs> Saluting the prince when they're awake. <laughs> they always do. <laughs> Saluting the prince that Zelda and me was a guard named Pierno. I met him a few years back during one of my visits to Hyrule. He was one of the guards that befriended me the first time I arrived. He get, smiled a friendly smile as we passed by. Perino. You know Perino? what I'm doing for his voice, right? Italian? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Mr. Jenna, he said as he waved. <laughs> as I smiled back, I, I thought to myself how good it was to be back again. Especially with people, especially while I stared at people's backs, we went that through. Ass. We went through the front gate and made our way towards the palace garden. Upon approaching the gates leading to the garden, another familiar face appeared to greet me. As we walked closer, I realized that that face was Zelda's caretaker, Impa of the Shikais. Shikas. Shikas. It, it should be just Shika, Shika. not Shikas. As I walked over to Impa, she turned to fully face me and a small smile crossed her face. She you know, do, she I tried to do a... Toad's voice. Oh no! <laughs> do no! It. It's good to see you again! <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Do it! It's good to see you again, my friend! How has life been treating you? It's supposed to be more grating. Put a little more roughness on it. sounded more like it. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> What? Hello? <laughs> it's good to see you again, my friend! How has life been treating you? You just can't do that very well, can you? No, I'm still keeping that, that pitch, though. Okay. Impa asked and put a hand on my shoulder. Oh, fine. Nothing out of the ordinary. I had to chase some thieves off. Uh. <laughs> on the first night, I was on my way here. After, uh, though after, facing, uh, after some facing off, I was able to chase them away with my bow. <sighs> then I made a big grin as I remembered the looks on the thieves' faces when I rained arrows on them. Our hero. Okay. Fondly of the time she murdered people. I mean, she she's sounding more and more like a psychopath. Oh, yes. I mean, she just loves staring at their backs all the time. Maybe when she sees them fleeing, it gets her turned on. She's like, oh, yeah, they're just running so far away, it's the perfect stalking distance. <laughs> well, this time Zane gets Impa's voice. What? It seems that with the abilities you possess. <laughs> what I'm doing? Oh, I can't do Toad. I turned into like some like weird. Like, just witch just thing. roll with it, man. <laughs> but it seems that with the abilities that you possess, you should have no problem keeping your possession safe. With another smile, Impa gestured for us to go into the garden. Impa's absolutely unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> That is where I met him, the man that took my heart. As we walked into the garden, I saw a young man in green with his back facing us, polishing a rather odd sword. Not really that odd looking. As I watched him... Really cool design. Yeah, as I watched him, I began to notice something about the sword. It had a rather odd shape on the hilt. The hilt was blue, with the top of the hilt looking like a fish's tail. You mean the pommel? Yes. The sword looked strangely familiar. I leaned over to Princess Zelda looked. and asked her who that man was. Now I know why the sword looks strange. The sword strange. looked that's rather really strangely else. familiar. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that That's just weird sentence structure. Yeah, no, it's, it's poor grammar is what it is. Oh boy, Russian Zelda again. <laughs> I, I don't know. I kind of like the robot one, but... You can do the robot if I'm gonna give Impa that horrible voice. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna flip a coin real quick. On heads, I do the robot. On tails, I do the Russian voice. Alright. Okay, Drum hold on. Roll. I'm grabbing a coin. And... It is tails. Russian Zelda it is, I guess. <laughs> That is the legendary hero of time. His name is Link, Zelda Cowboy. replied. <laughs> My eyes grew as big as saucers as I turned to look back at him. I saw his back as he wasn't looking at me. <laughs> Wait, what's her voice again? 
Uh, I've just been whatever. giving her that camp counselor voice, but you can keep giving her that husky wants to fuck him right now voice. <laughs> you mean he's the he- hero of time you told me about? <laughs> oh the one who saved Hyrule? Then that must be the legendary master sword he's holding. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda nodded yes. Duh. <laughs> Duh, Suka. <laughs> is that the hero of time? Da. Da, Suka. <laughs> da, he is an idiot. <laughs> Cowboy. <laughs> Why do you always add that? <laughs> uh, it's one of the funniest things I've ever heard for like a Russian referring to as an Amer- uh, referring to an American. <laughs> Hmm. Come now, cowboy. <laughs> we yeah. have job to do. <laughs> Just then, Link turned to look at us, and with one look of, at his face, my heart sank into my chest. Was it outside your chest? It's in her throat. <laughs> it was literally just outside of her body, and it just oh, went, no. sank through her skin into her rib cage. He was the most gorgeous man I had ever laid my eyes upon. I really should put them back in my head, but he was making a convenient table for them. At that very moment, I fell in love. Oh no, I have to read this one. Strex Corp is your god. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. His eyes were like looking down into deep blue pools of water, his lips firm, his ears long and sexy. Why do I have to read (laughs) One request, one request. He talks in this chapter, please... Please, give him the voice from the Legend of Zelda cartoon. (laughs) I need to remember how it sounded. (laughs) Excuse me, princess! Hey, princess, how about a kiss? (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) What? No kiss for the hero? (laughs) Oh, no. Yes. Uh, Beautiful blonde hair that parted in the middle. and his looked like a member of Hanson. Oh no! And his body was so tight and muscular <laughs> that it took my breath away. <laughs> Especially that ass. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Ooh, his back. That ass. <laughs> <laughs> when our eyes met, I blush, blushed and swiftly looked away. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he approached me and took my hand in his, gently kissed it, and asked. Who might this beautiful young lady be? I turned my head back to face him. And as our eyes met again, I blushed. Uh, Okay. My name is Jenna. I am a traveling merchant from the great Lebian coast. My village is there. I have been a friend of the royal family for a long time. Wait, is she still speaking? Why are these... (laughs) Why are these spaced like this? I don't know. (laughs) And I come every year for Hyrule's annual spring festival. He looked into my eyes and smiled. Watching him made my heart pound in my chest. He again took my hand in his, kissed it again, and spoke. Nice to meet you, Mistress Jenna. You are as beautiful as a winter rose, he said as he (laughs) stared at me with his enchanted blue eyes. Thank you, I stammered as I blushed again. Why are we reading this? (laughs) Forget what are we reading. Why are we reading it? (laughs) Uh, for money. <laughs> eh. sure. Alright, so let's see. What are you doing tonight? He <laughs> asked with a small smile. Stunned, not believing my ears, I turned and looked directly into his eyes again. Oh, no. uh, uh, nothing, nothing really. I, I was just going to retire to my wagon and cook supper before, before settling in in front of a fire to read a book. With a glint in his eyes, he asked, Why don't you join me at Conquery Village for the annual spring night celebration? Two! <laughs> it's a celebration <laughs> feast that happens the night before the spring festival. Why would you need to mark that that needs a footnote whenever there is the explanation of what it is right after? Uh. Without hesitation, I took him up on his offer. <laughs> I would love to go, he said with a soft smile. I will pick you up this evening, Link said with a Link said with a grin. That's not just, weird. Just then a deep voice rumbled through the garden. It was my pussy getting really wet. What is this oh chatterbox? 
Oh, uh, oh God, Link's uh, Jenna, my dear friend, how have you been? <laughs> a grandfatherly face appeared before me. I don't know what a good voice to give him that was. Uh, have you seen the CDI game? <laughs> oh no, my boy. My boy. <laughs> Shut up, my dear friend. How have ye been? After you scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule. <laughs> my grandfatherly face appeared before me. It wasn't as attractive. I'm probably not going to stalk him. <laughs> the smile I curtsied before the king. I'm pretty sure that's curtsied. Yeah, that's how curtsy to smell the. Er, smell. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> King Zelda, my old friend, how I've missed you. It sounds like he's a, she's about to. She's about to murder him. What the hell? I've been just fine. It is really nope. nice to see you again. I said with excitement in my voice. For the no, 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 no. Curtsy is spelled wrong. It's it's with an I, not a Y. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Oof. <laughs> As always, the king t thought of me as a daughter and always Does looked forward now? to the day when I would arrive in Hyrule with a knife behind my back for the annual spring festival where I murdered Does the he king. Now? <laughs> he always liked to see what new merchandise I have picked up and thought. I have picked up thought? Is that what you <laughs> thought? I've picked up thought my travels since the last time I was there. I think Speaking it's of thoughts... Uh. And most of the time, he would buy something from me. Does he now? But he always likes it when I would show up, since I would bring lots of funs and happiness. Do you now? As I looked up at the king, I realized I was somewhat at home. Oh, the royalty of this land is just inviting you into their castle itself. Into their yeah, home. Well yeah, royalty's not that way. That's why democracy was invented. And, and you're just barely <laughs> feeling at home, eh? <laughs> uh, I hate. As he started to approach me, I ran up to the king and gave him a hug. How I missed him. Ever since my parents died when I was very young, I never let anyone get very close to me. But the king was different. He opened up to me, took me into his family, and became like a father to me. He gave me a home to come to every year. When I was in Hyrule, I felt at home. I mean, isn't that what you just said, like, in the last paragraph? No, she said she was just barely feeling what at home. Uh, okay. <sighs> okay. My boy! Oh, no. <laughs> Jenna, my sweet daughter, what have you acquired through thy travels past year? I smiled at the king. You oh, must see some of the new cloth I picked up in the city of Sky... Sky... What? Sky... Sky Isle. Sky Isle. Sky Isle. <laughs> Apparently the great city of light. I smiled as the king's eyes grew big. You might want to get that checked out by a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna, my daughter, you must show me what you've acquired. And he took my hand and began to lead me out of the garden. With one last look back at Link, I smiled at him. See you tonight. <laughs> I said... <laughs> I left this after spending a threat. After spending some time with the king, he brought some of my new cloth and let me settle in for the night. Oh, god. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> oh my god! I returned to the inside of my wagon and prepared a hot bath. <laughs> I went to the mirror and brushed my hair while I waited for the water to heat up. After about five minutes, the water was ready. As I slipped down into the warm water, it felt good against my sore muscles. <laughs> I began to relax and slowly let let my thoughts drift. I thought that said cut. I thought we were like going back to my. To, you know <laughs> no, what I mean? God forbid. She is about to. Oh my bad. <laughs> it was the only thing in my mind. Like a good stalker, I was. He is so handsome. <laughs> I thought to myself, this you can tell when she really started cool. typing one handed. Uh. <laughs> this is the heroic man who became the legendary hero of time and saved Tyro from a life of darkness. Though something tugged at the back of my mind, I remember that I had wanted to marry one day. And oh, Link really? Now? A good choice since he was my age. Strong, smart, and handsome. And you know none of these things about strong, him. Beautiful children. And oh, doesn't know that I'm him. stalking him yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, Link would make a 
good husband. Uh-huh. <laughs> ugh, ugh, this is getting mm. creepy. <laughs> killing me. Ugh. Like I said, you can tell when she started typing one-handed. Yeah. Then I took the soap and washed up. <laughs> After I washed, I got out of the tub and dried off. You know, like what you're supposed to do in a tub. I went to the wardrobe closet to pick out a dress for this evening's occasion, despite the fact that I only have a wagon. <laughs> After some rummaging, I picked up a low V-cut white dress with lace that held the feet together. <laughs> Royal Triforce symbols lined the mm. bottom of the dress. Do they the now? The sleeve started from mid arm and ran all the way down my arm to my wrist. Next, I picked that gold choker with a Triforce symbol for around my neck and a gold Triforce ring for my finger. Oh, is Basically, that there now? I look like the Triforce. I'm just going <laughs> to go as a Triforce cosplay. Let's be real. You know, it's something that only the royal family has access to. I was about to say. (laughs) Something that's supposed to just be a dream and a fairy tale, so why are you wearing it? (laughs) (laughs) Then I had to do my hair. I braided my hair into a halo braid and ran a beautiful silver lace through it. After that, I went to the full-length mirror to look at myself. As I looked at myself over, a knock came at the door. Also, Really concerning fixation on just wanting to bone him silly and have kids. Just really wanting to fucking pump out kids. There's, it's actually not the Triforce, it's the Quad Force, and she's got the, like, triangle of, like, let's see here, <laughs> of lust or something. The Quad of, uh, the Quad Force of Fertility. <laughs> the Quad Force of Fertility, oh, yes. Lord. Uh. <laughs> Come, I yelled. Appearing in the doorway was the man I had set my eyes on. Oh, good lord. Really should get those back. My eyes grew big. His eyes grew big as he looked me over. Just like you look in his pants. beautiful tonight, Link said as he took my hand and kissed it. You know, because that's not weird. Then he led me out the door. There were two horses in front saddled for riding. <laughs> I don't know why that phrase makes me laugh. One was a rust-colored mare with a white mane and a thin tail with a black muscle. And a black muscle. Yeah, apparently there's just like a... A, a, a shellfish on it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, yeah. <laughs> the, other was one, <laughs> the other was one of my brown mares with a black mane and tail. The one he had gotten was, uh, was the one with the white star on its forehead. The star one kit? Who, <laughs> He's actually riding a giant purple cat. (laughs) (laughs) The one whom I named Star Dancer. He led me to my... Seriously? Yes. He led me to my mare and helped me into the saddle. Then he mounted the other horse. Hmm. Oh boy. (laughs) Looking back at me, his eyes seemed to glow in the moonlight. Follow me. I'll lead the way. And he booted the horse in the legs and took off at a slow gallop. You don't boot a horse in the legs, you boot it in the ribs. Mm-hmm. You, you have to, like, stretch yourself out like fucking crazy to boot its legs. Maybe they're just really tall, actually. <laughs> like, they're not normal humans. They're, like, their bodies are just, like, abominations. Or, or the yeah. horses are just small. <laughs> they're riding mm-hmm. ponies. Horses. Wait, then again, they're riding Star Kit, so... They might actually be really teeny. He's <laughs> just straddling a cat. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like attaching the like horse ca- saddle kind of thing of the cat between his legs, and he's just walking <laughs> as the cat's freaking out between his legs. And <laughs> <laughs> I followed. We rode to the south side of Hyrule Field and came upon a long, dark tunnel. Kind of like his dick. <laughs> no, 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 no. It wouldn't be like his dick. It'd be like her vag. Get it right. <laughs> so they're the dick then going in her vag. Yes. <laughs> Y'all comfortable enough yet, Tom? Hey, let's just uh, just keep this right. way. Link. Yep. Link called through here. I watched as Link disappeared into the tunnel. Then I followed. 
At the other end, we crossed a bridge and then into what seemed to be a village. Mostly because it was a village. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was kind of a town, maybe. <laughs> oh, uh, how are we looking on time? Uh, well, we've got about like 10 minutes left on the timer, so it'll be a whole thing. and We probably just finish up this chapter. Okay, that'll work. <clears throat> Little people wearing green clothes that looked like kids started to the sound... clothes look like kids? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, okay. <laughs> this took a turn. Well, they did tag it horror, so... <laughs> Surround us when we stop. This is Kokoriku Village, the place where I was raised, Link said as he dismounted. After oh, I dismounted... Whoa. After I dismounted, one of the kid, like Kokiri, took our horses. <laughs> okay, to tend to them. As I walked she around, mounted one of the Kokiri. Uh, maybe that's pretty hot. <laughs> as I wa- as I walked around the village, the childlike people began watching me. They all seemed very curious as uh, curious to who I was. Burn the looked- witch. If only. Uh, As I looked around at them, I noticed that they had something floating around them. As I took a closer look, I noticed that they looked like fairies from the fairy tales told to (laughs) us in our village as kids. Oh, are these really fairies from the stories I heard as a child? I thought to myself, gosh. Okay, what is it with her and everything in this world having been a fairy tale in her land? I don't know. It's like a shit isekai series. But I'm hating this. Just then, one of the Kokiri, a young girl, approached me. My name is Sari... Wait, what, what voice should we give her? Something that sounds young. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. My name is Saria. What's yours? Okay, fine. My name is Saria. What's yours? The young girl asked. My name is Jenna. It's a pleasure to meet you, I replied. Are you, are you the one that came with my friend Link for our spring night festival? Sorry, oh, I haven't I... come yet. <laughs> <laughs> Saria's eyes seemed to glow at that moment. <clears throat> yes, he invited me, I said as a smile crossed the Kokiri girl's face. Unfortunately, the smile got hit by a car midway across. Uh, if only that would end this story. But this is like, what, 150, 350 pages? About Something 150 horrible? pages. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I could tell that she knew I had my eyes set on Link. I also <laughs> had them set on everyone in the village. Everyone was small, short, and was dressed kind of like Link since they're all wearing green. I kind of thought them all as my child. Oh, God. <laughs> Though she remained silent about it, probably because she was scared. <laughs> there were male Kokiri as well. One in particular was named Mido. <laughs> he was the leader of the Kokiri and, my, and a dear friend of Saria and Link. Okay, I don't remember him being like that. <laughs> He was kind of a he was kind of a jerk in the story in the game. <laughs> he had a sense of humor, but he yet remained stern and headstrong, for he was their leader and was responsible for their lives. It was time for the feast. Sorry, I gestured for me to join them at the feast table. She <laughs> led me to the seat next to Link, probably because I would have stabbed a bitch if she didn't. <laughs> As I sat down next to him, she smiled and winked at me. Whoa. Did oh wait no, that's not I was about to go full on Link. <laughs> Did she plan this? I asked myself and then smiled. <laughs> After a moment, I looked over all the food. There was a great abundance of food to eat. Mostly really? Nuts. Oh my God. It was cooked pork in a As rich chestnut, cream <laughs> sauce. Oh my God. Beef stew and cooked turkey. As opposed to raw All turkey. different kinds of cheeses, bread and butter, cooked <laughs> vegetables, and even many different kinds of fruit. Probably like uh, they- they're in a fucking town at a big feast for a festival. <laughs> My mouth began to water, and I combed over the food. After I served myself, I began to eat. You don't say. <laughs> As I was eating, I could not help but notice that Link was watching me out of the corner of his eye, kind of like how I always watch him, so I know when he's watching me. Terrified. His eye was just shaking in terror. (laughs) You know, uh, Zane, you could, you could, I hope you're not a psychopath, because you fit the bill with the way you're reading it. (laughs) You're going into voice acting? (laughs) (laughs) No. 
I tried it cool. once, and they were like, eh, I don't think you're good at this. Seriously? Yeah, well, really... people are stupid, so... Well, I wasn't, I wasn't doing a creeper, though. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I could feel his stare. Though it was pleasant. Then her eyes met, and a smile crossed his face. As I stared into his eyes, they seemed to glow under the light of the moon. He even looked more handsome in the moonlight. And I thought to myself that I would be crazy to pass up on a man like this. After she starts everyone... just laughing. Just <laughs> <quietly>. <laughs> I would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> After everyone finished eating, all of the Kokiri got up and started to dance. Some of the Kokiri even played instruments. Be weird if they were dancing without music. <laughs> <laughs> it's interpretive dance. As the dance drifted in the air, Link took my hand in his. Would you care to dance? I looked at <laughs> I looked at him. <laughs> yes, I love to. <laughs> Gosh. So we're going full on psychopath for her. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Whoops. He led me to where everyone else was, and we started to dance. We danced and drank long into my into the night. And to show my appreciation, I even did a solo dance. That's right, I stunted on those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and after I did my dance, I went to sit down and rest. I was tired. Link sat, came and sat down beside me. You look tired. You look real tired. <laughs> you look real tired. Are you ready to retire? That almost rhymed. <laughs> Link said as he put his hand on my shoulder. I nodded yes and vowed to never wash this shoulder again and tried to get up and walk. But I was too t so tired and had too much to drink that I stumbled. Catching me in his arms, Link led me back to where I was sitting. I think, uh, I think it would be wise if you stay the night here to, uh, if you stay here tonight. I have plenty of room, and I can escort you back to the castle in the morning. Link looked at me with a worried look, and I decided to stay. And that is how we spent every night together, even up to the night when I finally shared his bed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that voice. Oh, my God. <laughs> I started to know with inside myself that <laughs> this was the one I wanted to be with. Even more so on the night when I shared myself with him. <laughs> it was a warm spring night, and night had just arrived. Really? And I were sharing the quiet sounds of the night together. I had seen, I had been seeing Link for a little more than a month. The spring festival had come and gone, and the warm weather was finally returning. All this, all signs of winter were almost gone, and my time in Hyrule was about to end for this year. In two weeks, I would be leaving for the city of Tarvera, or so Link would think. I'd actually be in his basement, knowing this made me sad to go, since I did not want to leave Link. I had found someone I was true I, that I truly loved, and I would have to leave him behind when it was time to leave. Even Link was not half happy after I told him I would be leaving soon. When I told him, his face went from happy to a depressed one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was just a sad-looking number one appeared instead of his face. <laughs> <laughs> well, like one is face. the loneliest number. <laughs> I could just picture him having like a compartment of faces in his like house somewhere, and he just pulls out another one. No, it's like the man e faces uh, he man action figure. Like you press on the top of his head, and the face rotates. <laughs> oh lord! 
<laughs> no, no, he's, he's got Mr. He's got multiple faces. <laughs> he's a Mr. Potato Head. You could just pop him off and put a new one on. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Potato Link. Oh my god. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, he wanted to be with me. And he wanted me to stay in Hyrule with him. But I was going to spend every last minute I had left with him, enjoying it. We had remained quiet for some time. Then it was Link who broke the silence with his wonderful voice. Jenna, it has been wonderful almost, it has been a wonderful almost two months with you. I watched him as he stuttered to find his words. Even as short as it is, I really enjoy the time I've spent with you. I wish you did not have to leave. I do not think I will ever find another quite like you. Link had a look of sad. Uh, Link said as a look of sadness appeared in his eyes. At that moment, I was on the verge of tears. I was in love with him. I leaned over and softly placed my lips on his and kissed him tenderly. I will never forget that feeling. <laughs> then he looked deeply into my eyes and told me he loved me. With those words, I began to cry. I had never felt this way before, like the way he makes me feel when I'm with him. Oh no, we're getting... <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is not... I think oh, this oh, is going to oh. make it even longer since we're reading it so slowly <laughs> too, because of the voice. Uh, <laughs> you know what oh. else is going to make it slowly? Tom's meltdown over these next few paragraphs. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. A meltdown, would, uh, a meltdown would signify breaking. I don't break. <laughs> really? Really? You want to put that to the test? Yes. You're go, buddy. Gonna, this is this is the one way I'm gonna make it through it is if I meet it head on. All right. He gently took his hand and wiped away <laughs> my tears. Then he put his hand underneath my chin and slowly lifted my head up until our eyes met. Did he just decapitate her with his bare hands? <laughs> I hope so. That would make a great end for this story. <laughs> with his hand, he drew my face close to his gently. <laughs> lips on mine and kissed me softly. At that moment, I took the opportunity to deepen the kiss. As our tongues mm. met, I started to feel his hands caressing my body. Mm. Gently caressed my body, I let out small mm. moans into his mouth. <laughs> I really hate this. <laughs> <laughs> then he moved his lips to my neck, placing sweet nibbles on it as his uh. hand up my back to the clasp of my dress. <laughs> my <laughs> gosh! Really? <laughs> oh. He slowly started to remove my dress, and I felt my quivering, the gentle caressing of his broad hand as he pulled the dress down off my legs and tossed it aside. <clears throat> slowly, he moved back to my lips and kissed me forcefully. His tongue began probing my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a disturbing way to... D <laughs> <laughs> tongue? <laughs> My tongue slowly met his, causing it to entwine with his, tasting the sweetness of it. Mm. Then we broke off the kiss, and I looked into his dark blue eyes as I reached up to remove the belt from around his waist. <laughs> okay! <laughs> slowly, right. I pulled off his belt, letting it fall to the ground. Then I slipped my hands under his tunic and swiftly removed it as his lips went to my breast. <laughs> As his lips and tongue teased the nipples of my breast, I felt a new feeling swarming through my body. As my opposed dad... to... <laughs> I'm sorry, but the nipple... Uh, uh, yeah, tongue teased the nipples of my breasts. The As opposed that... to what? <laughs> the fact She's that three of us nipple. reading this is making it even more uncomfortable at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just three dudes reading about people fucking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. My back arched and groans of pleasure escaped past my lips. Ugh. Never have I felt such feelings before. Never had my body ever felt such pleasure. <laughs> but then Link slowly moved his lips down my body till he reached my navel. Why do I get the image of his like lips detaching from his face? And just... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's not like it's not like it's a Mr. Potato anymore. Head. <laughs> just like just like rubber hose animation of like a porno or something. He just like popped his lips off like <laughs> just like started <laughs> moving him down his down her body with his hand. Oh lord. <laughs> he has no mouth. <laughs> it's the matrix. He must scream. <laughs> When he kissed it, a giggle passed my lips. <laughs> then he looked up, and we looked into each other's eyes, and I reached up to his chest and placed my hands on the lace that held his collar together of his white undershirt. <laughs> his body started quivering as my hands worked across his chest while I removed his white undergarments. <laughs> then I yanked it off. Oh my exposing his beautifully beautiful <laughs> heavenly naked body a body of pure heaven gosh <laughs> oh this is so stupid <laughs> it is it's uh... our lips met again as he gently pushed me down onto his bed climbing on top of me you know it'd be really hilarious if someone else in the village walked in at this point <laughs> <laughs> or there's just there's just Mido. Hey, can I get something from? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> or just Mido just watching from the window silently. <laughs> oh, he likes to watch, eh? <laughs> just a slow smile spreads across his face. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a uh, little food for thought due to the whole like uh, like coma thing. Link tech Link's mind technically didn't age over that t- seven year span. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun thinking about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. He was a little kid when that happened. Mm-hmm. He still has the mind of one. Not in this one, apparently. I began to feel his heart beating across my, his chest. I mean, beating in his chest, whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As his lips moved back to the nipples on my breast. <laughs> so she does to, have. As opposed to where? I... Maybe she considers her clit a third nipple. <laughs> Soft moans of pleasure passed my lips as he nibbled gently on my nipple, causing me to become erect. As he teased my nipple with his to- lips and tongue, I felt his hand work its way down my body, first to my thighs, then between my legs. He gently brushed his hand across the lips of my mouth. <laughs> That's a weird euphemism. Mm. Never heard that one before. And I groaned to tell him to continue. Slowly, his fingers probed around the inside of my flower. Sending I'm... strange new pleasurable feelings cursing through my body. <laughs> <laughs> Black Her magic. body slammed into a wall as a result. <laughs> <laughs> because it threw her body. Yeah, yeah. I moaned louder as as his fingers caressed the inside of my mound, moving in a slow up and down motion. Then his fingers brushed against my clip, and I screamed out as a pulse of pure ecstasy raced through me into another wall. <laughs> I grabbed his wow, hand I'm and pulled a lot of blood force trauma. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say it was a lemon. <laughs> not that kind of blunt force drama not yet my body shuddered under his touch as, his, as my soft moans turned into cries of pleasure and pure ecstasy as Link's fingers teased to crest my mound his fingers moved up and down until they brushed over the entrance wait he didn't even put them in yet? <laughs> mm. nope <laughs> she's going this crazy and he's literally just like on the outside. She's just got a hair trigger. Apparently. Or she's just very sexually frustrated. Yeah, why else would she be reading? Oh, uh, wh- writing this. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> why else would she be writing this? Slowly, Link inserted a finger, slipping it into my wetness. New feelings flooded through my body, into another wall, rushing to my head like a sugar high, as his fingers pushed their way in and out of my sleek, beautiful body. Well, that isn't weird, as a way to describe yourself. Not conceited at all. With each thrust, my legs sent us shuddered, sending momentary shocks to my lower organs. He pulled out the taser. I told him I wasn't ready for that. But... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't listen. 
<laughs> then I arch my back. My body put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> my body screaming in ecstasy as his movements became faster. I reached up and dug my nails into his muscular back as the ecstasy uh, and eternal bliss raced through my every vein. <laughs> Why do I have to read this one? <laughs> We're all reading this. I know, but mine no is... No one the... paragraph is better than the other in this regard right now. <laughs> well, this one is worse. Well, it's, it's like not as long, so... Yeah. True. You didn't have to read what I just did. Yeah, true. I began feeling jolts of pure hot passion surging through my lower organs, through my bones as I felt more specifically my pancreas. <laughs> my back arc arced again, <laughs> taser, <laughs> and I and I grunted in cat-like sounds. As he, he never be- took the cat off. Star Kid's still strapped to him. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> it's been two months too. <laughs> uh, and my uh, grunted. In cat-like sounds as he began to thrust his fingers deeper, upping the movement. My hands felt his back become sweaty as I dug my nails in deeper. Then my slender body twisted as I came to full climax, and I screamed in ecstasy as my warm juices cussed down his hand. <laughs> my gosh, this is worse than The Handmaid's Tale. Yes. Fall, um, falling, falling back painting, because apparently there's... Insert clever apparently. art pun here. <laughs> I need my I looked, passion to paint. I looked into his eternal blue eyes. I want to make love to you. I whispered to what him are you doing? as he ate my body with his hungry stare. Okay, that's just creepy. Just a little. I wanted to make love to you from the first day I met you. Or wait, that's Lynx. I'm not <laughs> reading that again. I wanted to make love to you since the first day I met you. There, where we go. Lynx said in his, as his hungry lips returned to my beautiful neck. What? Uh, I hate this. <laughs> what did I ever do to you, Lydic? I don't remember. <laughs> what? Anyway, Zane. I, no, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? You don't remember? If you're talking about Peter Chimera, you <laughs> agreed to that one. <laughs> anyway, Zane, your turn. Then I bucked my head back, and cat-like noises, cat-like sounds escaped past my lips. But it was actually the cat still strapped to Link as he pressed his hot body down against mine. The cat kind of scratching my legs as it was shoved against me. <laughs> as I ran my nails down his sweaty back, and I felt our hearts starting to beat faster as our bodies became hungry for each other. Hungry as. <laughs> Uh. Suddenly, strange new feelings began to surge through me as our passions ignited. Then, as he penetrated deep inside my sweaty body, the feelings rushed through me like a raging river. The feeling of feeling like a woman. Wow, that's not sexist at all. Like a woman. Like a woman. Like Like several women at once. Well, that's not weird. (laughs) Hive mind. Would that make the sexism worse? Possibly? Question mark. Because it's a wider range of victims. <laughs> Never had I felt this way before. I felt my body beginning to surge with strange new feelings as I let my virginity slip away. <laughs> as we made love, I whispered at his ear that he made me feel like a woman. <laughs> and to my surprise, he said I made him feel like a man. Because as we all know... You need to be balls deep in someone of the opposite sex in order to feel like your own sex or gender. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's wow. Yeah, that's not a terrible message. Just... Anyway, hmm. we made love long into the night, fulfilling or for filing each other's hot desires and fantasies. And I thought to myself that this was one thing I did not want to miss. I wanted to drink in every part of him. And after it was over, I did not wait long to feel him again. I could not wait long to feel him again. I could not wait to feel him again. Not wait to feel him again. Not like I don't stalk him already. I get to feel him every time he sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> the next few days were depressing. Us knowing that I was leaving in less than two weeks made us depressed. Stop repeating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of repetition. The nights yeah. were spent mostly quiet, except for the occasional sigh. I was beginning to think I'd never be this happy again. Link made me feel special. He made me feel like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> like a plural woman. 
Link's dick's just so big, he needs more than one girl, <laughs> apparently. Uh, All at once? I don't think that's physically well, possible. I mean, if you're omnisexual, then yeah. Uh, and he was my first. <laughs> my you don't first. say. Do I really have to leave? I asked myself. But then I remember that the places I traveled to every year were counting on me, so I had to go. Love or not. You're a single merchant. <laughs> Gotta feel important somehow. I mean, Apparently. she's like defining her womanhood and her feeling special by Link fucking her, so. Yeah, because that's not an unhealthy thing that you'd expect to see in like traditional Christian texts about relationships. Ugh. Yeah. It was the day before I was leaving. I was at the marketplace for the la for the last time for this year. I was at my stand selling what I have left when I saw Link enter the market and headed for where I was. Sword ready, prepared to chop off the head of the monstrosity. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm dying a little inside. <laughs> As I watched him, I wondered if this was if this was going to be the last time I was ever going to see him again, even though I come here yearly. I began to cry when he approached me. Taking his hand, he gently wiped away my tears and told me not to cry. Yeah, because that's normal. He looked deeply into my brown eyes and told me he had something to tell me. Then he got down on one <sighs> knee and produced a small gold box... He opened it to reveal a gold diamond ring inside. With a loud gasp, I clapped. I clopped. I clo I clopped <laughs> my hands together over my mouth. Whoops! What? <laughs> I am now a horse. Nay. <laughs> Wait. Whoa. That was a goat. <laughs> then he took Will my burn. hands in his. Will you marry me? <laughs> I asked with hope in his eyes, and I started to cry again. Crocodile, te crocodile tears escaping between. Hold on. Crocodile's tears leaving my eyes, as I already knew he was doing this. I stalked him this morning. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my goddesses. Yes. Yes, I will. I sat in between tears. He took my left hand and placed the ring on my finger. Then he got up, we embraced and started to kiss. Then we started to fuck in public in front of everyone. <laughs> oh my, no, we're not going back. This is not my world. This is not, this is not fucking Draco and fucking Enobi over here. Smashing in the middle of class. Now I knew I did not have to leave. I was meant to be my home. We were destined to be together. I... Have I mentioned I hate this? <laughs> yes, <several> times. <laughs> Summer finally arrived, and signs of spring were slowly fading. I was spending my days at Hyrule Castle, helping with the chores and making plans for my upcoming wedding, like I had nothing better to do, like actually attending my merchant cart, for one. Going on quests. Link spent his days building a home in the Lost Woods for us to live in after we were married. Aren't... I was ex what? The Lost aren't... Woods. Aren't That's those a terrible like... place to make a home? Yeah, and isn't that like a sacred forest? Like cutting down trees would probably be the ultimate blasphemy slash heresy. <laughs> then I get Link's brainwashed. And I don't <laughs> think she gives a fuck. She's too busy getting fucked. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I was excited about our upcoming wedding. I was marrying Link. Marring. I was marring Link. She With her nails, probably. Him. I finally had the man I fell in love with. He was so special to me. Was and he was a building scheme. a home for us to live in. A home for us to raise our family in. Link told me he wanted to be a father. But most <laughs> of all, he wanted a son. We had talked about having children together. When I first started my traveling, I did not want children. But now that I was marrying Link, Marin. I just Marin. <laughs> my bad. I decided I wanted to have children with him. Having children by him would make them strong and beautiful. Since mm. Link was strong and beautiful himself. Let's go put this in the chat right now. Um. Anyway, even my 
Even my friendship with Princess Zelda and her father grew stronger when we told him about our engagement, that we were going to have children. Hmm. When, since Zelda was not betrothed and had not wed, this was the closest thing to her being a mother, and therefore fulfilling her only purpose as a woman as put forth by this author, and, hmm. the, king was, and the king being a grandfather. Now that we were wed, my life was almost complete. Now that we were too wed, my life was almost complete. Because, you know, as being a woman, nothing else really matters except for getting hitched and pumping out children. Exactly. Now, if you're wondering what I put in the chat... <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Uh, that, my friend, is a Jinko from the Monster Girl Encyclopedia. Now, due to some very specific things that happen late that are described about the character of Jenna Silverblade later in the story, this is only what I can assume she really is. Wait, she turns into a cat? She starts describing the fact that she makes tiger-like noises during sex and has tiger-like reflexes. Uh... Additionally, much like this thing, she also has a weird fixation on procreation. Uh... So I can only assume that she is, in fact, a Jinko from the Monster Girl Encyclopedia that has somehow broken free from her own reality and started to terrorize Hyrule. Oh no. <laughs> it's a crossover fanfiction. Well, time to grab the shotgun and the incendiary rounds. That would explain why he's so weirdly in love with her, being as there's this weird compulsion thing going on in the Monster Girl Encyclopedia universe. Um, well, anyway, that's it for this session. I'm Lydic. I'm Tom. And I'm Zane. <laughs> oh, no. I'll be seeing you in your home tonight. Don't bother yeah. locking your doors. It won't, it won't matter. Yeah, no. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Tom's is first. And with that, we'll be seeing you next time.